In this part of our exploration of the Agile Practice Guide, you'll learn about its origins. Developed through a collaboration between the Project Management Institute and Agile Alliance IR, this guide is not just a document, it's the culmination of diverse perspectives. Imagine you're leading a project where team members come from different cultural and professional backgrounds. This guide, crafted by a similarly diverse team, offers insights into managing such a team effectively, blending various approaches to achieve a common goal. Just like in your project, this guide represents the collective wisdom of a broad spectrum of professionals, ensuring that it addresses a wide range of challenges you might face. As we delve deeper, let's focus on the team behind this guide. The core writing team, comprising volunteers from both PMI and Agile Alliance ER, brought a rich mix of expertise to the table. Consider a scenario where you're tasked with developing a new software solution in a rapidly changing market. The diverse expertise of this team mirrors the kind of interdisciplinary approach you'd need. They've drawn on real-world experiences, just like the ones you encounter, ensuring the guide's advice is grounded in practicality. This diversity isn't just about backgrounds, it's about beliefs and cultures, offering a well-rounded perspective on Agile practices. Next, let's talk about the objective of the Agile Practice Guide. It's designed to provide practical guidance, especially for project leaders and team members who are adapting to an Agile approach. Think about a situation in your project where you have to switch from a traditional method to an Agile framework. This guide is a valuable resource for such transitions, offering insights into planning and executing projects in an Agile manner. It recognizes the challenges you may face and provides strategies to overcome them, ensuring a smooth transition to Agile methodologies. The debate between Agile and predictive approaches is an ongoing one. This guide acts as a bridge, acknowledging the strengths of both methodologies. Imagine you're in a project environment where stakeholders are divided between these two approaches. This guide helps you navigate this divide, showing how planning, a common activity in both environments, can be handled differently. It's about finding the balance and leveraging the best of both worlds, just as you would in a project where you need to blend these approaches for optimal results. Pause the video here and consider this multiple choice question. What is the primary objective of the Agile Practice Guide? A. To advocate exclusively for Agile methodologies. B. To provide a bridge between Agile and predictive approaches. C. To replace traditional project management methods. Pause for consideration. The correct answer is B. To provide a bridge between Agile and predictive approaches. This guide isn't about choosing sides. It's about integrating the strengths of both methodologies for better project outcomes. The Agile Practice Guide was developed using an Agile mindset, which is crucial in today's ever-changing technological landscape. Think of a project where you have to adapt quickly to new technologies or market demands. This guide, created with a similar flexibility in mind, can be your roadmap. Just as your project needs to evolve with technology and culture, the guide will also be updated to stay relevant. It's a living document, much like your project plans need to be dynamic and adaptable. In creating this guide, the team chose an informal, relaxed writing style, deviating from the typical PMI standards. This approach makes the guide more user-friendly and engaging, much like how you'd want your project communications to be clear and accessible to all team members. Including elements like tips, sidebars, and case studies, the guide ensures that the key points are not just theoretical, but practically applicable. Imagine applying these elements in your project updates, making them more relatable and easier to understand for your team. Now let's explore the real-world applicability of this guide through case studies. These are not just stories, they are lessons drawn from actual experiences. Picture yourself facing a complex challenge in your project, not unlike the scenarios described in these case studies. They serve as a template for problem-solving offering insights into how others have navigated similar challenges. By relating these case studies to your own experiences, you can better understand how to apply Agile principles in real-life situations. Agile methodology has transcended its roots in software development, now finding applications in various industries like manufacturing, education, and healthcare. 
Consider how agile practices could be implemented in a non-software project you're handling, perhaps in product development or educational program management. This guide provides insights into applying agile principles in these diverse fields, demonstrating its versatility and adaptability. It's about taking the core values of agile and molding them to fit different industry needs, just like you would adapt project management techniques to suit your specific project context. Now, let's take a closer look at the agile practices recommended in this guide. It's not just about knowing the practices, but understanding how to implement them effectively in your projects. Imagine you're introducing a new agile practice to your team. This section of the guide provides detailed insights into how these practices work, their benefits, and potential challenges. It's like having a handbook for agile implementation, guiding you through each step, ensuring that you're well-equipped to apply these practices effectively in your project. Comparing agile and traditional methods can often be enlightening. This part of the guide helps you understand the differences and similarities between these approaches. Think of a situation in your project where you need to decide whether an agile or a traditional method is more suitable. This comparative analysis provides clarity, helping you make informed decisions based on the nature of your project. It's about understanding the context and choosing the right approach for the right situation. Applying this guide in your projects is where theory meets practice. It's not just about reading, it's about doing. Envision a scenario where you're implementing agile practices for the first time. This section of the guide offers practical tips and strategies, making the transition smoother and more effective. It's about taking the principles and adapting them to your project's unique circumstances, ensuring that the implementation is as seamless as possible. Lastly, as we conclude our journey through the Agile Practice Guide, remember that this is just the beginning. The guide is a starting point, a foundation upon which you can build your Agile expertise. Consider how the key takeaways from this guide can be applied to your current or future projects. And remember, the learning doesn't stop here. There are countless resources available for you to continue expanding your knowledge and skills in Agile project management. Keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep applying these principles to your projects for continuous improvement and success.